That's gotta hurt, Larry. I, you know, I, I hate you. I want you to know that, but I kind of feel sorry for you too. Just throwing that out there. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snowbomb Survival Series, where we play seven days on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snowbomb generated by the nitrogen world generator. We do have one small desert biome right about in the middle of the map that we use only use for getting oil shale. So we don't live there. We don't harvest any other resources other than oil shale from that snowbomb. All right, so um, I made it back home, of course, as you can see. And uh, I have I have some clips that I'm going to show you here in just a minute uh, about some sig significant things that happened um, on the trip back home uh, from the mega city. So the last time I talked to you guys, um, we were we were at the church, which is somewhere yeah right up here I think where the I have the drop chest um, marked there. So we were at that church. I've got a bunch of drop chests that we're gonna have to pick up once we get a vehicle. Um, and then, so I basically worked my way all the way down through the city here, came around down through this way. So we pretty much have the perimeter of the mega city mapped out. There's more, a few more buildings off this way, another large body of water here. Uh, but for the most part, that's pretty much the edge of the mega city itself. Um, so we worked our way down here. And then, like I said, I have a few, uh, a few excerpts that I'm going to show you on some things that we did on the way home, but we are home now. And I, uh, as you'll see in those clips, I made uh, a, a, di a disturbed, what am I trying to say? I made a <laughs> depressing discovery. <laughs> depressing, disappointing. Maybe that's what, disappointing is the word that I want. Uh, my brain's not working this morning, so bear with me. Uh, that discovery is that I, I, I mined up all that oil shale, and then I realized when I got back here and put it in the chem bench, I don't have the skill to make gasoline from oil shale. I completely forgot we had to have a skill for that. So uh, what I think is going to happen. I'm almost ready to hit the next level, very close. I'm not 100% positive of this because the description's not real clear, but it looks to me like if I take the first thing of yay science, which incidentally would help us let us make the Kim bench, though we already have the schematic for that, so I guess that doesn't matter. Um, I'm guessing, guessing that... If we take Scholar, we'll be able to make gasoline. And here's why I think that's the case. Because if we take Professor, notice the last sentence. It says, craft oil cheaper and gasoline in efficient stacks. That suggests that we can, you know, make the bulk stacks of gasoline, which then leads me to believe that Scholar will let us just make the gasoline, even though it doesn't say that in the description. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. Um, I really would hate to take... A point in this if you know if we don't need it um so you know that would suck because we'd lose that point we wouldn't lose it but i mean you know it's not really what we need to be putting in now otherwise so you know that is one option the other option is that we keep looking for the schematic and you know that could happen immediately or it could happen like in 50 ep episodes or i mean you just never know it's an rng thing you know so I'm not really sure what what the solution is, but I mean, we went to great effort to mine a bunch of oil shell. We have over a full stack of it, and that's going to make tons of gasoline for us. And we, you know, I I I need to, I need we need to be able to make gasoline. That's what it boils down to. So I think what I'm probably going to do is take a chance with this um, intellect here, and take this yay science. Now, if I'm wrong. I have already have intellect three. Um, I have it for reals, and I, I have an effect of four because of the nerdy glasses. So if I'm wrong about that, then we know for sure that if we take the second level of yay science, then we'll definitely be able to make gasoline. Um, and what else would we be able to make? We can make first aid bandages. Too. Well, you know what? Though? I think we have the freaking schematic for that too. So I see, it would be, it would be just such a, a waste of of points. I I think to have to put that in there. Um, cause I wasn't planning on, you know, putting, putting points into this at all. So I don't know. I, I think we're going to take the chance and do that. All right, let's see. So what do we need to do? I have, I, I'm, I'm going to go out and rent some cars because I need to get things like mechanical parts and electrical parts and headlights and all that kind of thing to make uh, the mini bike. And I don't have any of that stuff right now. Uh, plus the fact that we'll get enough gasoline to, you know, at least get started with both the mini bike once we make it. 
and also, you know, some more gasoline for the auger because I need to mine some coal for making gunpowder. I've got a decent supply of nitrate, uh, but I need to mine some coal. So that's another thing we need to do. So th that's what's kind of on the list of stuff uh, to do. Most of that, for the most part, I'm going to do off camera. And then um, I want to, once we get the mini bike, you know, we have a treasure map we could go after, but I, I, I'm very, very tempted, you know, to hit uh, the bookstore, bookstore skyscraper. We're, we're a little bit, we're a little bit um, low in level for that. And it's not even so much that we're low in level as much as it is, I don't have a huge supply of ammo to be going through that place. But, you know, we could probably make it work if we block doorways and use our sledgehammer a lot, you know, kind of thing. Plus, you know, the, the good thing about going into that bookstore early, you know, with our lower game stages is that we're not going to have the really, really nasty zombies in there at this point either. So that's kind of what I'm thinking we're going to do is do that bookstore. Again, I'm, I know I've done the bookstore you know, on camera for you guys before, but I haven't done the bookstore on camera for you with a small amount of ammo at a low level. So and that's what makes it a little bit different <laughs> this time around. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and play those um, excerpts for you. And then um, probably what I will do is I'm gonna go out and rent some cars, maybe do a little bit of mining. And then in the morning, when I have all the stuff that I need to make the mini bike, I will bring you guys back at that point and we'll, you know, we'll get the mini bike made and then we'll see, you know, where we're at on our time. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy uh, these little clips from my trip back from the Mega City. Oh crap. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, can I get my platform down quick? Oh, wow, that was close. We better get the big guns out because I don't want these guys popping up here. Oh man, yeah, the zombies had broke the lower part of my tower. <laughs> I didn't notice it. I got a broken leg. Shit. You know what? There's a. There's actually a crutch back up there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to. Uh... Yeah, we we need it. We need it. Uh, I don't want to use any duct tape to make one because I'm saving this. We just need one more sewing kit, and then we can make a cargo pocket. Son of a bitch. All right, well, let's go back up there. So, guys, check this out. I am at uh, a junkyard here in the desert. I'm, my old overriding goal is to get uh, gasoline so I can mine up some oil shell before we go back uh, to our home base. I opened up this trash on top of one of the trash bins, and I found both the double and the triple storage pocket mod schematic in here. That's pretty fantastic. Pretty fantastic. Of course, the triple's the one we'll probably use unless we... You know, don't have the mats for it. Uh, what does that take, by the way? Polymers, leather, duct tape. Yeah, that's that's not a big deal. In fact, we have. Uh, we just need one more polymer, and we can make one of those right now. I'm also been. <clears throat> I haven't. I, I made another cargo uh, pocket storage mod, and I'm waiting to get 30 cloth to make a third one. Uh, but since we can make this instead, well, I don't know. Do we have any armor we can put it on? That's a thing. We, yeah, we could, well, yeah. We could replace this with a triple. I mean, we'd lose one point of armor, but that's not <clears throat> not that big of a deal. So, yeah, we we, we should make that. Um, and, and I'll get one more piece of plastic. In fact, I can get it from just busting, busting this. Yep, there we go. So we have enough to, to actually make this. Oh, shoot, though. We have to make that at a workbench, don't we? Uh, okay. Well, then maybe what I will do is make the my third triple storage mod um, first. Or cargo mod, I'm sorry. Because uh, we still need to re replace the one on our pants. I replaced the one on the shirt and on the duster. 
So we need to make one more for our pants, and then we'll have the cargo mods. So currently, I'm just one row and one, you know, one slot there over in Cumbert. Uh, in terms of the heat, we've done pretty good. I mean, we get we get yellow hot, but I haven't as of yet um, gotten uh, red hot. So we've done pretty good. Of course, you know, we broke in here. We had to fight some zombies and stuff, and I've I just got a big <clears throat> uh, collection of 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 loot that I'm just kind of storing right now in the, the stove and in the fridge here because I just don't have room. But I, I've been accumulating a whole mess of brass. I mean, we have over a thousand brass. So that we're taking that back with us no matter what because that is just a lot of, um, you know, a lot of bullet casings right there. So, yeah, we, um, we've we we've looted all the inside uh, of this place. So I'm just, you know, finishing up looting the outside. I still have to do all those bins over there couple other things to show you um i found the um shotgun tube extender mod uh some somewhere along the lines you know uh, making our way back this direction so we got that um i have i uh, also found a blue wrench so we have a blue wrench right here which i found in a car which is cool and we also found a green hunting knife so those are the upgrades so far that we've uh, gotten uh like i said i'm in the desert now I think the last time I talked to you guys, yeah, it was a back way back up uh, here in the church. So I worked my way all the way around this direction, and um, there, there's still a few more buildings out here, but this is really the city proper. So we've pretty much mapped out the perimeter of this uh, mega city. There's another lake here with some waterfront, so it's really cool. I just like this, but I, I think I kind of think this is my favorite spot right here altogether. That's that's what I'm leaning towards. So yeah, we're just, uh, you know, we're just looting uh, I'm after gasoline more than anything. And then, as I recall, there was actually a an oil shale uh, deposit right on the border here. And so that's kind of what I'm going for now. So we're going to go over there, we're going to mine that, and then we're going to follow the road uh, back down uh, to our area and do, you know, everything we need to do to get that mini bike made. And then after that, we'll see what happens. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you guys an update on all that stuff. Okay, so here's the uh, oil shale deposit. Uh, like I said, it's right on <laughs> the border of the desert and the snow biome. So we're going to, this is going to be our first mining spot for oil shale, at least uh, until we get moved into the central city. So what I'm going to do is, there was ac there's actually another car uh, right down the road here. Uh, let's go hit that first so that way we can get some gasoline more uh, a little more gasoline is what i'm trying to say so we'll do that first and then we're gonna set up a little mine uh, at that oil shell oh incidentally um when i finished looting those uh those trash bins i found uh the schematic for the frag grenade which is really nice okay we're gonna start by using the pick because i don't want to pull the auger out until we're underground and we can Kind of secure things a little bit so we'll start with the pick and then go underground okay <clears throat> so we'll put those bars up there uh, that way if a zombie comes along um, usually what they do is they kind of meander around over the bars not quite sure what to do while we stand down here and shoot them in the nuts um, I think we're safe to go ahead, safe being a relative term, of course, uh, to go ahead and start using the auger. So let's get that in that slot. We've got 2,652 gas, plus this has a full tank. And um, let's go ahead and get ourselves some oil shale. Oh, of course. Wouldn't you know it, as soon as I start it, Larry comes... That's gotta hurt, Larry. I, you know, I, I hate you. I want you to know that, but I kind of feel sorry for you too. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> but as you can see, that's that's pretty effective because they don't really really quite know <laughs> know what to do. They just stand there and let you shoot them. Uh, so it works pretty good. All right, let's try this again. Okay, we just ran out of gas, and we have a total of one full stack of 6,000 plus another 1,295. Okay, well, 
I believe our time in the desert for now is done. This is going to last us a long time. So that is a nice little pile of oil shale for sure. Uh, we got another level two, and I put that into... Uh, where are we at? I put that back into... Good lord, come on, man. Uh, into machine gunner. Uh, the next one's going to go probably into healing factor, and then the next one will go into pain tolerance, and then after that we'll keep pumping fortitude. Uh, planning on taking fortitude at least to seven. Really before... Probably before we... You know focus on anything else well getting that to seven and then getting those th three that go along with it um up to par two and while we're in the process of doing that let's take a look i'm probably gonna go ahead and put some points into living out the land and get a garden going too oh well insulated that's right i keep forgetting about that so that we have so many things in the fortitude tree that we really need we need machine gunner insulated living out the land pain tolerance and healing factor. Those are those are the ones we need. So we're going to be spending some time in fortitude for a while. Anyway, um, I'm heading back to the base now. And um, when we get home, we're going to... The plan is, anyways, we're going to make ourselves a mini bike. So I'm just going to follow this road down. I'm hoping that the road, you know, this road will intersect with uh, with the city. I'm, I'm, it probably will. I hope it will. If it doesn't, we'll have to go across country. But anyway... I'll see you guys uh, when we get back home. All right, guys, we are finally home. Finally home, at least uh, our temporary home anyway. And uh, daylight's a wasting, so what I want to do is I want to immediately go down to the the Kim bench and get gasoline going. So let's get that first, and then we'll stop in and say hello to Trader Hugh, ask him if he missed us, and see... Uh, you know what he has going on. Whew. Okay. We still have a pretty decent supply of nitrate too. So we're going to have to mine some coal. We'll probably do that tonight. Um, so let's take about three quarters of our wood. You're kidding me. That's right. I completely forgot. I need to know. I need to know the, the gas can schematic to make gasoline. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm such a noob. I'm such a noob. Crap. <sighs> All right. Well, um, shit. That sucks. We're going to have to hit. We're going to have to hit. Um, we're going to have to hit the bookstore skyscraper, I guess. Oh, man, I completely forgot about that. Well, okay, hold on a sec, though. The schematic's one way. We also have... Uh, intellect. Let's see. Is this... Says gasoline inefficient stacks. So does this open up just gas by itself? <sighs> boy, I don't know. Let's Well, let's just go see what our boy has in here. What do we got going on here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, be quick about your business. Hey, didn't you miss me, man? All right, let's see. Wait. SMG schematic, that would be nice to get. Wasteland Treasures, Volume 6. What's that? What, we've plant Nah. We don't want it. We don't we don't care about that. Be nice to get this mod, but we'll we're gonna find it eventually. Okay, what else do you have, man? Just do a quick scan here. Shotgun Messiah Side Volume 2. Breach. Ammunition. Do 10% more damage to coal and burnt wood. That would be nice to have. He's got an insulated thingy. thingy. We have no coin on us, though. We have zilch for coin. Oh, man. Okay. He's got a bike. <laughs> I'm not spending 5000 on a bike. Now we can make a mini bike. Shit. All right. That's well, enough chit chat for me today. Yeah. Right. We can still make the mini bike, and we can still use it. We're just gonna have to wrench cars to get gas until we find that schematic. That really sucks, man. That really sucks. I completely forgot about that. All right. Well, it is what it is, and uh, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, guys. We are back, and um, let's take a look and see what we got. 
So I've got uh, stuff in my inventory to make uh, a full mini bike, except for the coal that we need for the tires. So we'll grab that in just a little bit. All this stuff is going to go into the forge. Uh, we found the schematic for the cigar a few episodes ago. Let's make that right now. I just want to make that on camera just because it's kind of cool. And, and if you guys didn't already know, this gives us uh, both 10% um, better deal from the trader and it gives us one more point in strength. So it's really cool to have. Now we are going to have to give up two points of cold resist, but I think we'll be able to manage that because uh, eventually we're gonna we're gonna get our um, well insulated up to about three anyways that's kind of my my thinking on that uh, so we so we're making the cigar um, and I also have enough in uh, parts in here excuse me to make uh, four triple uh, storage mods because we found that in the uh, the junkyard trash something just bit the dust <laughs> uh, the junkyard trash when we uh, were coming back from our, our trip uh, from the central mega city there. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the trader and we're going to get this stuff started. And then we, we got to go out and harvest some coal. And I need, actually, I need some coal anyway. Instantly, we have over 7,000 gasoline uh, that we got from wrenching cars. I got my battery and my engine. It actually took me a while to find a battery, but we finally found one. It's a blue battery. Not that that really matters in Alpha 18. Um, It Matt. The battery quality matters for the battery bank, I believe, but not not for for vehicles. All right, so let's poke our head out here. Make sure there's no Zekers ready to eat us. Uh, you, as you can see, I planted a bunch of trees just so that way they're close by when I need to get some more wood. So we'll go along through here. I think what we'll do is we'll go into the trader first and get this stuff started, and then uh, just right down the hill there, there's a little coal node. And we'll we'll go, we'll probably actually go mine um, a bunch of that because we need it for gunpowder too. We are so loaded down, but after we get those triple storage mods, we'll be in great shape, inventory wise. And I could even make a fifth one, um, you know, for my steel chest armor. But then we would be giving up the insulated liner mod, and I think that might be pushing it at this point. We'll pro we may eventually be able to not have to have a lot of that kind of thing once we have uh you know level three in that but for the time being we'll just uh continue making do with that until we fight we have to find at least a yellow armor chest piece in order to get that second inventory slot excellent okay so let's go ahead and get started uh with uh, the mini bike chassis and the mini bike handlebars and the triple storage mods for four so we got that going. Um, the rest, I think the rest of the stuff is, you know, for making the actual mini bike itself. I'm going to have to pull um, all of that stuff. I don't, these, I think these stack. I'm not sure if they do. So yeah, let's just pull it all, pull it all right now uh, since I am not sure about that. I think they probably do, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so, oh. Um, the other thing we were going to do is we were going to take a chance on taking that first point in in yeah, uh, yay science to see if that will allow us to make gasoline. Let's get this brass going in here. Actually, you know what? I have brass and iron, so let's get both of those. We're going to probably have to get some more clay. Uh, for this fairly soon too let's see that gives us 40 minutes yeah that's probably pretty good and we already have a, a decent supply of brass in there so we'll get this smelt and then we'll make a whole bunch of bullet casings um and then that will will also smelt whole okay here's our stoke let's wear that and we'll scrap our our bandana uh, okay, yeah, so I think what we're after now, again, is we're after some coal. Um, I'm just trying to think. Keep yep. your distance. Yeah, okay, I'm going to store the, this extra ammo stuff in here for the time being. I hope I just remember that it's there. <laughs> um, just so, you know, we, we free up a couple slots here. Okay, let's go out and uh, do some coal mining. 
because of course again we need it for the wheels and we need it for gunpowder and there is like I said a coal deposit not uh, too far down this way and this will hopefully ladies and gentlemen be the last time that we have to hoof it to get somewhere I am so freaking tired of walking everywhere um, you know in this playthrough so it is time for us to have a vehicle and we will definitely start with a mini bike and work our way up to the motorcycle now we found the we found the um, chassis for the, both the motorcycle and the 4x4 in that last bookstore that we did uh, so you know as soon as we find the accessories for either one of those uh, we will be in good shape to start working on that remember too we found the uh, the crucible in the bookstore so we can make steel now which is going to be super handy and we're going to need that of course to make uh two wheels very good all right and that frees up frees us up a few more slots too uh anyway yeah we're going to need the steel to make either one of the motorcycle or the or the four by four all right guys well i'm going to just uh mine here for a bit and um i will bring you back here uh after a while uh when i get back to the trader and we'll get our mini bike uh, put together okay guys we are back from mining um the mini bike is up in the uh workbench it should be ready to go by the time we get back up there and i unfortunately discovered i took i went ahead and took that next point in yay science and it still does not unlock gasoline so we're gonna have to take a professor which kind of sucks because i didn't want to put those two points in there but we're gonna have to do it because who knows how long it'll be before we find the gas schematic We'd be at the mercy of RNG, and sometimes RNG is just an asshole. <laughs> um, so we are very close to the next level, though. And um, so I took a, a buried treasure quest because now that we will have a mini bike, we'll be we'll, you know we'll be able to do the buried treasure quest no problem. And by doing that, we should uh, hit that next level, and then we can start making gasoline. In the meanwhile, I put uh, uh, took all the coal and the nitrate that I mined up and got that going. We're going to have a nice little pile of gunpowder when that's done and we can then replenish some of our ammo uh you know what though i'm gonna need some lead too i'm i don't have a whole lot of lead so that's something we're gonna have to get um mining on too but I'll, again i'll just do that off camera and then i have um some brass a little more brass smelting up in here we're gonna have a nice little pile of, of brass too so we got 3224 brass um in the thingamadoodle i put a little iron in there too so let's go ahead and get bullet casings made up 537 beautiful that's excellent so we should we should be able to use that to make you know um probably maybe two stacks of 762s and a full stack of nines um because you know it's only going to take we already have 79 right so it's only going to take oh about 220 ish of these to make the stacks you know uh, of the of the sevens and then there's 300 left over so yeah that'll be really close really close to a full stack of nines and two full stacks of seven six twos um excellent now i put um some of my other hey, other ammo in here shut up um oh and good so we actually already have two uh, 296 of those and we have some buckshot too how much paper 38 okay that's not a ton but it's something let's go put these back in the the smithy or the, the workbench i play i play arc all the time too so i get i get the two mixed up sometimes when i play arc i call the smithy a workbench hey look at that we finally have a mini bike that's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing we no longer have to walk all over creation excellent 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 okay let's go ahead and what, what do we need to do we need to go do that buried treasure quest so let's do that so we can get that next level so that we can get professor in yay science and get making gasoline like there's no tomorrow yep okay we gotta get far enough away from the trader because we can't set the mini bike well i don't know can we set the mini bike down no nah, it won't let us do it so let's just get it out here on the road that's good enough and fuel her up There we go. <laughs> Look at us. No more walking, baby. No more walking. I love it. Okay. 
So, let's see, the buried treasure is really close. It's just right over here. Oh man, I hope it's not on the frickin' bank. What a pain in the ass that would be. I dug up some clay right there, that's what that hole is. This is a game changer, you guys, game changer. Things are gonna go... A lot of things are gonna be easier for us now. Getting around, not, you know, getting away from zombies if we can't kill them. And more storage space, among other things. So this is, this is nice. Come on, please be on the flat area. Please, 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 please. You're not going to be on the flat area, are you? You son of a... All right, well, this isn't terrible down here. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's that's not terrible. I mean, you know, it could be better, but it could be worse, too. Okay, let's just park the bike there. And we need to guesstimate about where this is. Now, I, have, I do have Lucky Looter one so that narrows it down to seven meters so that's something i'm not going to use the auger for this because it'll make too much noise and uh partic uh potentially attract undesirables <laughs> so let's see let's go here till we're pointing directly east and then it stops right there so I'm going to say it's probably right about there, and then if we go south a bit, and then north a bit, right about there. This, I'm not doing this scientifically, I'm just just rough it, roughing it here. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. We got an awesome sauce. Okay, cool. Suck it, zombies. I hope this will get us to the next level. It's going to be close. What your well, you did. Uh, I will take the vitamins. And we got the next level. Beautiful. And we're finished. Awesome. Sniper Volume 3. Headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Yes, please. That's uh, That's what we want. And we are into tier two, you guys. We are now into tier two. Okay, so um, we are still making uh, bullet casings. So we'll let that continue on. Are we gonna, we have eight minutes and 42, 10 minutes and 53. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Let's read this. That's a nice one to have. Now uh, we got a little food, which we need to actually eat because we're kind of in rough shape here. So we're gonna down both of these uh, beef rations. We we have we have like 14 bacon and eggs back at the base though, so we're doing fine on food. Really, really well on food. Uh, all right. Last thing we're gonna do before we wrap up this episode is we're gonna go back down here, and we're gonna queue up a bunch of gasoline, and then our gasoline problems will be over forever. Okay. So let's go here and go here and here. Wait, what? We're wearing nerdies. Oh, you know what? Son of a bitch, this is worse <coughs> than I thought because we need level f f five for that. Why level five? I thought that was a level three thing. Oh, you stupid ass game. All right, well, we're gonna have to waste another point on intellect. Now we have an effective five, but we have to wait till the next time <laughs> to get this. Uh, well, it's a good thing we have. This should be enough gas for us to get around in the mini bike uh, until we hit the next level. You know, we got that from wrenching cars, so we're still okay. It's just frustrating that I had to put that many points into intellect when I didn't want to, but it's the way that it goes, right? Watch the very next time we hit a bookcase now, we're going to get the gasoline can schematic. I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> it is. It's this damn RNG, man. Just damn RNG. Let's go ahead and take our first tier two job from this dude. Are you gonna purchase something? Okay, so, oh, you know what? We can't until, we can't do that until probably tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do another buried supplies because we'll get a little more food and whatnot. I'll do that off camera. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.